Fernando Rentas. Um, in this small video tutorial, I want to show you how to use the effect alpha on the refraction layer in order to uh, allow you a blend background with the glass material in Photoshop. Um, first thing I want to show you what I have in my model. I have a, a snow globe, the one that I, we use for the, our uh, newsletter in December. Um, I have three lights, one light and the color is kind of cool, um, I mean warm color I have one cool color and I have a, a big a huge uh, rectangular light in my background in order to blend my my background with the floor um, um, right now I'm using a, in my environment I have a background color white because I want a, a very bright white background my multiplier is 3 in order to increase the brightness of the background and I have a I'm using a HURI um, to illuminate my my model as well in combination with the rectangular light um, also in my refractions um, reflections and refraction I'm using the same the same HURI this is basically my environment so uh, one HURI and three rectangular lights for my studio setup um, I want to make a fender in order that you can see my light this is my left light, right light and my background light also I have a wood material and all those all those material you can you are be able to download from the from our home page okay basically the material the light uh, blue glass material is the the glove material have an effect alpha uh, enable and effect shadow as well but I want to talk in this uh, tutorial about effect alpha again these options allow you to uh, make transparency in the refractions um, layer in the refractions options of the material that means that you uh, eventually can blend or can put any background in Photoshop and you will be able to see the, the, back the background through the glass so I want to make a render right now I already made the render so this is the final render as you can see here my um, glass appear to be very high reflective and high refractive but again this is because I have uh, uh, an HURI but when you uh, this is the kind of effort that I want to, to, to uh, achieve uh, my glass render in, in, in V-Ray and then apply any kind of background um, be able to see the background through the glass but I have this is in this uh, image right now and this is the image that I want to use for my background as you can see in my in my uh, render uh, my glass seem to be a uh, very high reflective but when you open the file in Photoshop now you can see the all those refractions now are transparency and this is the effects that produce effect uh, alpha the uh, the refractions uh, options now will be transparency uh, here I want to control A to select all my uh, scene control C to copy and then want to uh, control V to paste in my in my new image now if I move the layer to down you can see how uh, now I am I'm a, I am able to see my background through the glass and this is this is very cool but I want to make the final composition right now uh, first thing that I do is select the background and apply kind of uh, blurry in order to have the illusion of depth fill now I make it blurry also I want to duplicate my layer and select the blending mode change the blending mode to overlay in order to play it a little bit with the um, with the intensity now I want to select those and merge both and I want to apply kind of uh, auto level in order to change my, my level 
and this is pretty pretty nice so you can see you have to uh, try to fix a little bit the, the edges but for now I will not do that in this video um, this is pretty much what I want and at the end I want to apply a uh, kind of um, noise in order to increase a little bit of noise to having a more realistic effect I want to use one percent select OK um, usually I apply a uh, kind of uh, distortion lens corrections in order to add some chromatic uh, aberration now I want to usually I use 8 and minus 8 and in this option here I want to extend the, the, the edge of the image so click OK now you can see the aberration the red color here and the green color and for me this is pretty nice um, then I want to final merge my model and this is the final uh, composition of, of my render again this small tutorial is uh, to show you how you can blend the background uh, with the glass material using the uh, effect alpha in the glass in the refraction layer in order to see the the background through the glass hopefully you can enjoy this small video and see you next time bye bye